Look, I get it. You don't know how to evolve Poochie. Well, today, I'm here to give you guys a tutorial on how to evolve Poochie to prove to you how this guy is meta. But before we get on to that, I want you guys to hit the subscribe button down below and hit that little bell and thumbs up. Alright guys, so the first thing you guys want to do is make sure you have the cake hunt unlocked. I'm just kidding guys, but for real, the first thing you guys want to make sure is you have the Geo's Bone, otherwise known as Dio's Bone. And the way you get this is by doing Cape Infinity. Uh, I would say at least go to like 30 waves or so and make sure, you know, you just uh, get the bone. If you don't have it by at least wave 31, I would say just reset um, your whole, you know, infinity round and just try to get it. It is a random drop, so it is RNG based. But other than that, once you get the bone, I will show you guys how I'll go to around. Uh, once you guys get the bone is OK. So once you guys get the bone. You have to go to Cape Infinity again, and I will show you guys the process on how to get this bone evolved. As you guys can see, it says Sinner's Souls, and I will tell you guys what that means in a second. So let's go to a game. Uh, here's a tip for you guys. If you guys do not have any meta units, you know, stuff like, you know, Ichigo or, you know, you don't even have like Poochie evolved or something like that. Uh, I would say just get some help from the Discord server. Make sure you join something like uh, Cape Infinity or um, infinity cape you know stuff like that and then they could help you out you know get four people in there and then you guys can get to like round um 10 or so or 20 or stuff like that but let me show the, you guys the method and how to get these center souls all right guys now that we're in the infinity finally uh i'm gonna tell you guys how the bone works so the way it works is every time you guys kill a boss from the infinity which would be like you know round 10 round 20 round 30 like that um it, the bone will evolve by one and it will show text right here saying Geo's bone has evolved or something like that. And um, I'll show you guys how that looks like in a second once I get there. So I'll make sure just to, you know, show you guys that in a second. So let's get to All right. So now we're at wave 10, guys, and we're waiting for the boss to spawn. As you can see, the boss is right there. So you guys want to what you guys want to do is just kill the boss and it will give you the point towards, you know, the evolution of Dio's bone. So I'll show you that right now to get there. Even if we do get there, so let me just cut to that real quick. All right, guys, I guess you see, we got the Geo's Born of Solar Soul. That means you just got to point towards, you know, the evolution. And you guys have to do that at least 34 times. And the way I would do it is just, you know, get to wave 10, do, kill the boss, and then just reset because it does get harder after, you know, each wave. So it's going to be, you know, harder to grind it if you're, you know, uh, low level units like me. As you guys see, I'm at the, you know, the best level 29, you know, stuff like that. But. That's just the way I would do it, but you guys could always just do it, you know, get to wave 20 and then, you know, wave 30 and, you know, you can even just do it until you'd like die. But I would say the max level you just want to go to is wave 50 and then just reset and then you just do it all over again. So you guys have to do this at least 36 times and I will cut to the point of when I do that. So I'll see you guys later. As you guys can see, I did one round of infinity and we got, uh, I think four souls do that. So that's pretty good. Uh, we just have to do this 30 more times, so that's pretty much, you know, um, like 300 rounds of infinity if I'm just doing my method, but for you guys, it'll probably just be like a few more matches uh, if you're at that spot. And yeah, so I'll just cut to the point where I get Seamoon and we'll be back from there. So I'll see you guys then. What's up, guys? We're back. And uh, we have now completed all of the Sinner Souls quest. As you guys can see, it took me a bit of a while to do this, but that's just because I take some breaks here and there. I'm not going to be on this game all the time, but uh, I would say this thing would take you at most like four hours if you're just playing it straight on, you know, no breaks and stuff like that. Maybe five if we're getting a bit tricky. But other than that, I have got it, the Cinder Souls 36 out of 36, and we're going to press use, guys. And now we have the green baby. Alright guys, now that you can see, I now have the green baby. This could be used on my Poochie, of course, to get it to its Sea Moon evolution. So I'll do that for you guys right now. I just want to press use. Oh, oops, I forgot to unequip it real quick. 
Let's just act like that didn't happen and we're gonna press use. Oh, what the hell? Okay, use. Sorry, guys. And there we go. We have now got the Hoochie New Moon um, evolution. So I will probably explain how to do the Made in Heaven quest or um, evolution. Uh, but pretty much what you guys want, what you guys are gonna have to do is um, kill ten thousand sinners, and that would only be in the what's it called, the either the cape cape story mode or the cape affinity so and it always has to be seen when it cannot be anybody else but that's just how it is well guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope this is informational for you guys out there who want to know how to evolve into the sea moon Gucci. all right guys see you next time when i make another video about this game probably Somebody oh my god, a shiny poochie, bro. A shiny poochie, bro. A shiny poochie, bro. A shiny poochie. A shiny poochie. A shiny poochie.